Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Good day, everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the fractional part of X and uh, how it can help us solve problems involving floor function. So if we have a real number X, we can isolate its fractional part by removing or subtracting away its integer part. So for example, the fractional part of 2.7, we can subtract uh, the integer part of 2.7, which is 2. So if we remove it, we are left with 0 0.7. Okay. For negative 14 over 5, we can remove the integer part, which is negative 3. So we get uh, 1 fifths. We can also do that for our last example over here. So if we get the integer part of 3 plus square root of 5 all over 2, we can get it to be 2. So the result will be the difference. Now, if x is a real number, we can write it as the sum of its integer part and its fractional part. And this is going to help us in many ways. Also, we recall that uh, x can be bounded such that it is greater than or equal to its integer part, but it has to be less than the following integer, which is floor of x plus 1. So if we subtract uh, the integer part of x or the floor of x from each of the quantities there, we'll be able to get the useful inequality for the fractional part of x, which is it has to be greater than or equal to 0, but less than 1. So from these concepts, we can develop the following insights when we solve uh, problems. So to solve equations or problems involving the floor function, it may help to draw as many information as possible on both the integer part and the fractional part of x. It can also help to acquire the fractional part of x in terms of the floor of x or x itself. And we'll be able to use these facts. We can use that... Uh, floor of x is an integer, and we can also use the inequality we just obtained. The fractional part of x must be greater than or equal to 0, but less than 1. For example, let us consider this problem from the 23rd PMO qualifying stage, part 1, number 13. So we have a real number t. We can consider its uh, integer part and its fractional part. How many real numbers x between 1 and 23 satisfy this equation? Integer part of x times a fractional part of x is equal to 2 square root of x. So let us start no, by writing x as the sum of its integer part and its fractional part. Okay. So we can let a and b be those parts respectively. If we do that, we will be able to rewrite the original equation as AB equals 2 times the square root of quantity A plus B. Notice that since we are considering values of X between 1 and 23, we can suppose from here on that uh, A is a natural number or a positive integer. So in order to proceed, no, we can first try to get clues on the possible values of A by using the fact that the fractional part b should be greater than or equal to 0, but less than 1. To do this, we can consider writing b in terms of a. We can proceed using these steps. So we can square the equation, and we will obtain here a quadratic equation in b. So we'll be able to use the quadratic formula to get b in terms of a. So here, we have this expression. So Notice that there are two possible values of b that we can consider. But okay, notice that uh, if we take the root with the minus sign, no, we will get a negative number. Since b is a fractional part and we are defining a fractional part to be greater than or equal to 0, then we should permit only the root with the plus sign. 
Now, if this is our fractional part, we will need this now to be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. If we solve for the solution set of this inequality, then we will get that a should be greater than 2 plus 2 square root of 2. This is around uh, 4.8. So we need our a to be at least 5. So recall now that we need values of x, which is the sum of its uh, integer part and its fractional part. So we acquired from our calculations that uh, once we have uh, a to be at least 5, then we will be able to get a unique and valid solution for x. Therefore, the number of desirable solutions between 1 and 23 for the given equation is simply you know, equal to the number of integers from 5 through 22 inclusive. And if we count that one, we will get 18 as our answer to the problem. The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.